It's being called the Great Resignation. A lot of people during the pandemic are deciding to change careers or just quit altogether. People are jumping ship, right, left and right. In fact, Framingham-based WorkHuman found in a September 2021 survey that 32% of workers were actively looking to leave their current job. 48% of them want to do it as soon as possible. Dr. Patty Fletcher is the global head of brand marketing at WorkHuman, a human resources software company. She calls herself a workplace futurist. We like to believe we belong somewhere. We like to believe that the good work we're doing, the hard work we're doing while we're working, and so many of us work so much, that it's seen, that our contribution is appreciated. And Fletcher says many workers have not felt that recognition over the past year. People talk about dissatisfaction with their work. It's typically because they don't know how the work that they're doing connects to the greater good of the company. They're also not ready to go back to the office. A lot of people who have been working from home or have been doing flex time got called back to the office and they said, you know, I've had this great work-life balance working at home. Some people are saying, you know what, I really value that work-life balance and I don't want to go back to full time. And they're, they're calling it quits. Financial advisor Sean Toll says the great resignation spans all generations and all industries. We've seen folks that are close to retirement saying, gosh, you know what, I'm just five years away from my planned on retiring. Can I afford to do it now? But there is concern for those looking to make a career change or quit altogether. I hope people are thinking about their financial well-being. It's a big change if you decide to leave work. All of a sudden, you have no more income coming in. You have no more contributions from your employer to your 401k if you were getting them. You no longer have employer-sponsored health insurance. You're no longer contributing to Social Security. And now you have to make sure that you have enough money in the bank to pay for however long it is you're going to take off. So what exactly can employers do to retain their workers? Dr. Patty Fletcher with WorkHuman has a few ideas. Our technology platform not only enables me to connect with a colleague and say, wow, great job, really appreciated your help, but the platform prompts the rest of the company to join in. If you don't have that, what I would love for people to do is pick up the phone three times a day, right? Call and say thank you for your help. It really made a difference. Maybe ask how the rest of their life is going. It makes us feel human instead of cogs in a wheel just trying to get the work done. And as more companies push to return to the office, Fletcher says logistics are important, but don't forget the human element. When we talk about back to the office, it's less about do we have a place for everyone to sit? What are we looking at with the Delta variant? And should we have people come back or not? Those are important questions, but let's think about why we're asking them. And that's the biggest opportunity for every company, for every leader, is that human connection. Mm. And according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, in July, 4 million people quit their mm. jobs. And at the end of July, there was a record 10.9 million jobs available. Wow. And the Harvard Business uh, Review says that the highest rates of resignation are between people between the ages of 30 and 45. And the industries that are the hardest hit happen to be healthcare and tech. Both of those industries seeing a dramatic increase in resignation. A lot of change out there. Mm -hmm. Next, training a new wave of workers.